Okay, so um, we've got a wee bit of recapping to do before we move on to the next part of the bagpipe chanter scale. In lesson one, we started off doing the top hand as such. Again with nice, straight and relaxed fingers, the thumb nice and relaxed on the back. We then moved on to the bottom hand. We used second pad, second pad, second pad and the first pad on the pinky with the thumb relaxed on the back in line with your middle finger. Again we achieved this by go going to the C note first and then down to low G. And if we can get a crystal clear low G then we can move forward with the, the entire bagpipe scale. Okay, we're now going to go down the way. So, in reverse of what we've just done, we have high A, and like we did before when we were just working with the top hand, the thumb goes down and the ring finger comes off at the exact same time. The top finger goes down to go to F, nice and straight. The next finger goes down to go to E, nice and straight. At this point, we do the reverse of before when we went from D to E. We're now going to go from E to D. To do that, this finger is going to go down, these three fingers are going to come up, and the pinky is going to come down all at the exact same time. So in some sort of slow motion, we have this, this movement. Okay, so that's D. Okay, to then go to C, we put this pointed finger in the right hand down, and it has to go down nice and straight again, and it has to go down using the, the second pad. To go to B, the middle finger goes down, and whilst that goes down, the pinky comes up. Again, using the second pad. And that's B. To go to low A, again, we put this finger down using the second pad as such. And then from low A to low G, we put, simply place the pinky down on the first pad of the pinky, like such. So going down the way, a recap again, we have high A, we have high G, we have F, we have E. We move from top hand to bottom hand to go to D. We go to C, then B, then low A, and then finally low G. Okay, well done. So, to play up and down the way, we have low, low G, low A, B, C, D, E, F, high G, high A. Take a breath, sound that exact same, exact same note again for high A, high G, F, E, D, C, B, low A, low G. Now, make sure that the notes are evenly spaced out. At this point, I would then hand out the the workshop, uh, the worksheet, sorry, which would uh, show you where the notes, the nine notes, lie on the bagpipe chanter scale on the the staff notation. Really important that we learn how to read the music from this point. Really, really important. So the low G lies on the second bottom line of the treble clef. Then we then move up. To low A, which is in, in the space, then B is on the line, C is on the, the space, D is in on, on the second top line, E is in the top space, F is on the top line, 
high G lies above the five lines and high A lies on a ledger line above. So we have those nine notes and it's really important that we read the music as we practice the bagpipe chanter scale. That will make life much easier for you in terms of how reading music uh, down the line and your life will be made much easier as I say. So please, please, at this point, go back to the music and make sure you refer to it at all points when you're practicing both up and down the way of the bagpipe chanter scale. Make sure this is absolutely correct before you move on to the next stage. Enjoy practicing and make sure that it's absolutely perfect. Well done.